Isn't it better late than never? Our book review is here. <laughs> Sealed by Kids by Brian Banacho. You'll occasionally hear our neighborhood watchdogs. Don't mind them. It's, it's not a figure of speech, literally, the watchdogs, the dogs. <laughs> By the way, Brian Bernacho sealed by a kiss. I'll give you a quick story first before I begin. Um, Brian Bernacho is a Kenyan writer, beautiful, beautiful writer. Now, when I started this book, I thought to myself, it sounds very, very familiar. I, I don't know. You know how when you're reading a book and you're like, have I read it before? Do I know? Okay, maybe I might have missed it. Maybe he said it somewhere. Maybe he posted on his socials. Maybe I, I was just not keen. But it is actually a continuation of his other book, The Honorables. <laughs> So I'm plugging you before you plug yourself. Please, when you're going to get Brian Bernacho's books, please get the Honorables before you get Sealed by a Kiss. Sealed by a Kiss is a continuation of the Honorables. And I remember when I was reading the Honorables, I was just like, this man, I think I even mentioned it some time back. I, I was like, why is this man just addicted to conflict? Why is he so addicted to cliffhangers? And it was so, it was so... I felt like I was in turmoil all through and nothing was ever getting solved. And, and I remember saying, how come Kenyan script writers and Kenyan authors are so allergic to happy endings? What did happy endings do to you? What? Oh well, yeah, anyway, the honorables. That sealed by a kiss was a continuation of the honorables. <laughs> Now, there's something I want to say about uh, Brian as a writer, first of all. So, Brian has this thing. First of all, the books, Kenyan, of course. So, I have so much fun reading Kenyan books because they re I relate. I understand, like, when he talks of an uncle who's a carpenter. I have an uncle who's a carpenter. Like, everything is so homely. Everything is so based. I can see everyone in the book in my life. So, that's the beauty of Kenyan writers. Now, here's the thing about Brian... <laughs> Here's the thing about Brian Bernacho. Um, he's the he he actually is part of the of the hosts who host a podcast known as the No Name Podcast. So you'll go and listen to it, please go and listen to it. And here's the thing, I I I don't know whether it's just me, but I literally read the book in his tone, in his voice. So there's some statements that are completely just out of this world that I know exactly what he's saying, and they're. They're very, they're very humorous statements. Like there's one where he says, <laughs> there's one where he says the the preacher at the church is preaching is preaching so much, and the topic he's chosen is specifically to to you know to oil up to butter up the politician who's attended the church to leave him something you know. And also now the the congregants are bored, and there's there's a point where he says. Uh, some of them are staring outside the window. <laughs> some of them are staring outside the window, longing for freedom, as if they're in prison. <laughs> as if they're in prison. So there's so there's multiple there's multiple description of things that are very. I find them just very hilarious. I find the book, the story itself is quite an, an emotional roller coaster. But those, the way Brian describes things, it's just humorous. Maybe it's because I know his voice in my head. I do not know. <laughs> but I found that very, very interesting. Now, on to the book, Sealed by a Kiss. I find this addresses a lot, a lot of issues to do with patriarchy. I know we do not like that word. But I feel like Brian paints quite a clear picture of how men think. And it also paints a very clear picture of what the political atmosphere really look, looks like. The murky waters, the, the, strategy, the strategy behind um, someone actually winning an election, what happens behind the scenes. I find, I find that very clear insight. But one thing that I really, really learned from this book is that men can lie. Men can, hey! <laughs> but I like, I, I, I just genuinely love the how the the story is basically framed now you will get to understand how the political whatever's work behind the scenes and i also feel like he takes us through emotions and emotions and emotions and what i've said about Bran by natural before is he literally literally is addicted to cliffhangers this man you know when the honorables when i first read the honorables it ended it just ended so abruptly yani gafla i was like why would you do that to me why why so when i saw there was a continuation by sealed by a case i was like okay so he, he's not giving no man energy after all right so I was happy that it's a continuation of the story that I was so invested in earlier. But now the problem came here. Even this book that is still a continuation of the Honorables, my, my, my dear sir, 
why does it still end like that? Are you so is happy ending such a bad thing? Is the economy that bad that we will not accept any form of fantasy of a happy ending? So this still leaves you on a cliffhanger, and I'm just like, this man will drag you. He will drag you to the edge of the cliff and leave you there hanging with one hand. Like what am I, Mufasa? <laughs> But I love it. I love the emotional roller coaster. I love that I'm seeing everything. I love that you get to experience aspects of marriage, aspects of um, addiction, aspects of how the political, basically the political space works, especially behind the scenes. And I like that if you're keen, maybe I, I, as I've said, a lot of times you pick lessons based on what resonates with what's happening in your life. But I feel like what I pick from this, a, a lot of insight I'm gaining is how men think most of the characters whether it's um whether it's amo whether it's juma whether it's henry the characters in the books you see the things they are doing and you just get to understand as a woman I, I can't be in a man's brain and understand how it works but i feel like this book clearly paints a picture of how men think and i think it gives very good it helps with handling certain interactions in life so still the bike is a beautiful 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 book i will tell you to get it and of course um i have three of his books i don't know how many more books he has maybe four or five i do not know but so far i have i have three and you will enjoy brand but natural as a writer you will you love it i swear to you the the description of things and also i love that the story develops pretty first and i love that as someone who, who can't even get invested in movies and all that i love that if i start the story it's already moving don't sit there and describe to me a whole scene okay some are beautiful like i remember i said this the description of scenes in the chimamanda book was really really beautiful i love it i appreciate both of them but i also appreciate that Mbanacho just gets you through the story so it's running really fast but while it's running, you're constantly anxious. You're just like, what's going to happen next? Could this be? Could this be? Could this be? And let me tell you, this man is the king of plot twists. Because a lot of times you're thinking, you're thinking it, but you're just thinking it won't twist that way. Maybe it will twist to the right. Oh, it will, it's going to twist to the front. So, yes, I, I enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy Brand Bernatra as a writer generally. But Sealed by a Kiss is so beautiful. But if you're going to buy Sealed by a Kiss, I'm just here to tell you that you need to buy the Honorables first so that you start the story so that you develop it slowly to sealed by a kiss but also we have after the storm which is also a very beautiful book that i really really enjoyed now this one gives you i felt like after the storm gave me it felt homely it felt like brian understood what life is as a kenyan i would say i, I would dare say as a woman i would dare say as a woman because he describes the struggles of the characters so deeply and you can under, you can see it from so many perspectives that gives me it just give I feel homely when I'm reading a Brian Banacho book. I feel familiar. I feel at home. I feel safe. Although the anxiety is there, he's just and this man is just addicted to. He's addicted to the anxiety that comes with the unknown. The, the, the happy ending is for fairy tales. Please go watch Cinderella if you want that. But yes, yes, yes. Brian Banacho sealed by a kiss, and you can also get his other books, which is the Honorables. I continue the the first book. A continuation is the sealed by a kiss is a continuation, and of course after the storm, Brian Banacho. Am I leaving out anything? But until our next book review, bye.